Hi, welcome to Moments with Mimi. And today we're going to look at, you know, the big picture, because that's near and dear to my heart, and applying Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. And the Law of Assumption is just, you have now incorporated all of these laws into your life. And you are coming at it from a place of love and you just know everyone and everything is bringing you these wonderful gifts and messages so it's easy to drop it <laughs> and you just do and you just assume it you just assume it there's no more sats there's no more need to go to the toolbox you just assume it and it is and you'll find as you get better at it that there's uh, certain things that are just so easy for you to do you just assume it you know so it's a good idea to, to look at how you're responding in those instances versus, versus the ones that you're you know struggling with if you're struggling with any because once you hit this law of assumption you really know it's just all flowing you know that's it now it's not really a law it's the result of incorporating the 12 laws of mind into your because life i've seen him he's like fire and ice and rage he's like the night and the storm and the heart of the sun stop it he's ancient and forever he burns at the center of time and he can see the turn of the universe stop it said stop it and He's wonderful. You know, you, you understand it's all relative. You go and tithe. You know, a lot of people don't understand tithing. Or they, they get it all, you know, oh, I gotta meditate. I gotta go lay, oh, I gotta lay this, I gotta light this candle. I gotta breathe. Maybe I should run a video. You know, not just go do some mundane task. <laughs> Silence your mind. Go do some yoga. You know, go do some dancing. Go play your guitar. You know, it's about just relaxing and not spinning stories and letting pops just be pops. Okay, you just you just being and you're imitating your father in those moments. You know, and it's important to give a tenth of your time here to God and you're not working and you're not eating and you're in your head <laughs> okay and the idea is just to go sit sit in the field go sit in a chair go sit in your backyard go sit in the pool go sit in the tub just go sit just go be and just be just go float and this is allowing God to have a rest. You sleep, but when you're sleeping, you're uploading. And, you know, Pops has just been working. And, you know, he needed time to rest. He needs time to rest. That's what the Bible tells you. So you have to hush the imagination and just be, you know, just... Like Neville says, just get in your comfy chair and silence your mind. That's it. No thought comes up. Oh, just a thought. Move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> you know, and the attempt itself is noted, you know, and it becomes easier and easier. You just, oh, that's, no, just a thought. Move along. Silence. And you don't have to do any ritual with it. Just go to silence and be that way for, you know, two hours out of the day, two and a half hours out of the day in increments. You know, if you're going to work on a video, spend 15 minutes just being silent, you know, and don't even think. It's, Pops knows what you're doing. You know, just be. I know infinite intelligence guides me in all ways and will give me the right words to say, you know, but I, I need to let him have a little 
you know, rest. <laughs> I can see everything. All that is. All that was. All that ever could be. That's what I see. All the time. And doesn't it drive you mad? My head. Come here. It's killing me. I think you need a doctor. That's what it's about, you know, and it's really important to do, but don't make it a chore, because when you start making things a chore, then you're forcing it, it doesn't work. That's what I call making it work. Okay, it has to be natural and fun, like a kid. You know, if it's work, you're being a, an adult. That's why I call it the state akin to sex. Because if you keep having sex to try to make a baby, it becomes work. <laughs> no. Just be spontaneous. You know, yeah, that would be great if I had that. And just take a moment. Yeah, you know, think about how you do this naturally because you've been doing it your whole life. So, and when you stop and think about it, you realize there's certain things that you just assumed, and that's how it was. You know, you, there's no thinking about it. You just, no, I know he's not like that. No way. Uh-uh. Okay, what you say? He's not like that. You misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. And then that person begins to see them. The other person you were insisting is not that way, the same way as you do. So, part of this um, revolution that's going on, that, you know, this is uh, manifested itself with the people who are identifying with Bernie Sanders or, you know, anyone like that who has pushed this, you know. We gotta equalize everything and you know blah 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 but that's the objective side of looking at it you're they resonate with you because you are a soldier okay you're a soldier all these people are waking up to these laws and most of the new generation are already seeking them out kids in high school are already seeking out the laws they're hitting the Law of Attraction boards, the Neville Goddard boards, Dr. Murphy boards. They're reading the books. They're, they're, and they're young. Okay. And you can see the progression if you step back and look at it. So a call to arms is being made. And on the objective side of looking at it, that's what it is, a call to arms. You know, to come fight for this. But on the subjective level, it's a call for love. Okay, you're a soldier of love. You grab the spirit destiny, you grab Thor's hammer, you know, and you can't get away from certain things. The earth is full. You now have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. Okay, you can't even go out into the countryside and disappear from it. You have to deal with it. It's going to find you. Okay? And the one thing to do is to grab the big bazooka, which is love. It's love. You know, and you start assuming that all leaders, you know, all government officials, all those people that have been showing you they're good and they're bad, that, that they err on the side of love. You know they all err on the side of love. Every one of them from the top down. UN top head down. 
everybody, everybody, okay? Be a soldier of love. Anything that has, you know, yanked your chain, you throw love at it. And I mean that. You know, this is how you get everybody together on the same team. And we're marching this way. And everybody's helping each other prosper instead of showing them you're being a dick, thinking you're a dick. <laughs> you know, this is the lesson of the antibodies. And it's accelerating because you can see it a lot more quickly now. You know, it took time in the past for it to develop. And as we begin using these laws, it takes less and less time. Jesus. Humanity is Jesus walking this earth. And he's in his objective state. Setting the stage for life to come. Okay? And he's tearing down these objective beliefs like Joshua and the walls of Jericho. And this is how you build upon Neville Goddard's teachings or Dr. Murphy's teachings or Phineas Quimby's teachings or any of the teachings. Because all the teachings before this, before this time and place, saw it objectively. All of them. Every single one of them. You're a thought or a belief. There's only one. And you've been saying it forever. Everyone's been saying, there's only one God. And then they proceed to go on and say, there's only one God, my. You got to believe this. You got to believe that. You know, no. You believe in nothing but consciousness, which is God in you. And it has two parts is your mind. It has two parts. And the penal gland. <laughs> a little devil. A little dragon. No. You have to tame it. You tame it. And now you're going to write it. Okay. Now you're going to write it. It's going to be great. So. A revolution. Is when the old man dies. And the new man rises because the thinking in humanity changes. Okay? And you imagine they do that. And you can walk away and say, yeah, well, they'll deal with it. Because you don't live there or whatever. But it has to be, you know, it's something you're aware of. So it has to be, you know, you know I believe in the best of men. And I know things always work out well for me. So I know they're all going to work out well for them. Everybody errs on the side of love. Everyone knows that. It's so last century. Please. Talk to the hand. <laughs> and bring up the media. Because it hasn't really been fake news. Both sides are calling it fake news. I mean, one side's trying to verify the other. And the other side's saying fake news. <laughs> No, it's an opinion. That's all it is. It's someone's opinion being broadcast. It's humanity. Okay? No. The media doesn't act like that. I know I used to think the media was like that. But now I know. The media always airs on the side of love. They always see the good side. They don't dress it up to be ugly and frightening and all that other stuff. They, they just present the facts now. It's great. I remember when they used to throw in all those descriptive nouns, verbs, adverbs. Oh, the treacherous tornadoes. It's a tornado. <laughs> okay. You think it's treacherous. Yes, I understand. But it's still just a tornado. Okay. No need to make people knee jerk. We're not animals. You're not. You're a hybrid. And you are a divine being. And it's time to stop wallowing in the mud like a pig. And the reason the Bible says don't eat pig is because a pig represents a man. Pigs can't go backwards. They can only go forwards. And they wallow in the mud. And they eat just about anything. 
It doesn't mean don't eat bacon. God, I would. I love bacon. <laughs> doesn't mean don't eat ham. I love ham. I love. I love pork. Okay, I love pork. Raised in the south, you're gonna love pork. I don't know too many cultures that don't love pork. Pork is great, and they multiply like crazy, right? Your thoughts multiply like crazy. This is what that means subjectively. Objectively, it's yummy bacon. I'm gonna eat it. You know, <laughs> I don't care what you say about it. <laughs> don't you be talking bad about my bacon. <laughs> but it's that kind of thing, you know. So it's looking at everything and don't fall into the trap of you know seeing certain things objectively and other th things subjectively like the things that are just close to you in your life know that the world is full there's only one if you're awake and watching this then you have to know it's you're Jesus the carpenter it's time to build it's time to build it's time to be the carpenter and the way you do that is you don't get rid of the institutions you get rid of the way they think you don't get rid of the people you get rid of the way they think and the only way you can do that is through love because you're the one who split the love in two and judged that they could be like that and people will show up in your life who are like that and you'll wonder why it's because you believe people people can be like that no okay here you go now what you know so you grab that spirit of destiny you grab Thor's hammer and you're hitting it with love you don't know no, I don't think so nobody acts like that nobody thinks like that you know uh-uh talk to the hand when they had Jeffrey Epstein in prison and uh, he was on suicide watch and all this other stuff and I was walking through the room and I had already seen a couple of headlines and I hadn't dealt with it and I was walking through the room for the you know happened to be the national news and it was the Jeffrey Epstein and I just had enough and so as I walked through I said no I release him Nobody hurts little babies. I know that. Nobody hurts little children like that. No, I'm, I know he was here to play a role. I release him from that role. And no. I, and I walked off. And I forgot about it. You know, I just didn't even think about it. And then the next day, he, you know, news is out. He committed suicide. And this was a result of him being released. You don't have to be this anymore. All is forgiven and forgotten. I I didn't know when I accepted that as true that it was God playing the role. You know? It's a stupid story. No, no, no. No. Okay? No. And and that's just how it manifests itself. He didn't really die. You know? He played his role. His role was over. It was time to go. And despite the fact that it seemed impossible he could commit suicide in the place he was in, he committed suicide. So you, you, you see how this works. You know, and so don't be upset with some of the manifestations that may happen in the outside world due to you shoving the love out. You know, they they played their role, okay, they've been released, hallelujah, it's great, you know, and only those who see objectively are going to come back with these silly stories of, why oh, did that happen, it must have been, he was murdered, you know, blah, 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 you know, no, 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 whatever, you know, forgiven and forgotten, no, I don't, no, and you just keep going, and it, and it disappears from your life, and this is how it works because this is a dream and it's subjective and if the one man is fighting all these beliefs and if you just strip it down the love you know 
bring everybody with you out of here you know because that's really what it's all about it's all of us you know cracking the egg and becoming the dragon so I hope this helps I hope it it gives you something to think about when you do hear the news or you do <coughs> um, suffer from something that just can't get out of your face <laughs> like the virus well God, it's a virus it's all good you know and that kind of thing so I hope this helps blessings to you thank you thank you for being you What's it doing? It's feeling the sun on itself. It's getting warm. The chick flies away and the eggshell disintegrates. Harmless. Oh my gosh. It laid a new egg. It's beautiful. Doctor, it's beautiful. That's what we call a new moon. You can be the first woman on that. I think that somebody deserves a thank you. Yeah, probably. Thank you. <laughs>